Okay, what we have here is a cooling system for the, that's the uh, 12 cell HHO generator. We took the uh, restrictors out that came with it, the, the Bob Boyce supposedly patented restrictors to keep the current uh, restriction down between the cells. We uh, took them out so we can flow more water through it. We don't need them. Anyhow, what we have is a this is actually a hot water pump for a uh, solar system. I see the fans turned on right now. We have this thing set at about 90 degrees and we're pumping in uh, about uh, 600 watts through the system and we're hitting that thing with about almost 16 volts. Uh, it turns out to about 2.5 volts per cell, which is uh, more than you should be doing. Now, if you don't have a cooling system on here, that's going to be running way over 120, uh, drawing a lot more amperage. We also threw uh, two, two filters on here. This comes right out of the uh, a cell we filtered. That's a 10 inch, uh, two and a half inch diameter. I think I'd say that's a one micron filter. And uh, we also filter it as it comes out of the tank, it goes into the pump, goes into the uh, cooler, and we set that pretty much anything we want. You carry it at 90 degrees, it pretty much stays at 90 to 92 all day long. Uh, anyhow, we filter it as it comes out of the pump before it goes back into the uh, cell. So it's filtered coming out of the cell and it's filtered before it, as it goes back into the cell. And uh, that's the only way you can keep this thing running cool when you're hitting this thing at a high high voltage and uh, we just started this thing up this is what the top plate is doing we're also injecting air into the uh, this is a, just a little small fish pump to help uh, the low oxygen levels that are coming out of this HHO cell so we're doing some experiments with uh, injecting air also into the into here we put a little bit of a we call it dishwashing liquid uh, crystals. Very small, just a pinch of that stuff. That's what this Japanese doctor was doing over there in Japan. He was he had a wet cell with uh, ultrasonics vibrating in the wet cell through a little bit of uh, non-sudsing uh, soap in there and breaking the the uh, hydrogen down real small, compressing it down below 200 below zero, putting it in the tank, and it was good for two years even. Not like a normal HHO gas. Anyhow, he was getting that thing up to high pressure. It's the only way he could do it. Only a couple of people in the world do it. Uh, and we're one of them. Anyhow, that's where we're at right now. So there you have it.